Hello, welcome back again to Doodling Through Education. Today, we have a science video. We are going to be talking about the four parts of our excretory system. For my CC students, this is cycle three, week seven, science. I had a few people reach out to me um, asking how they could support the channel. So I just wanted to bring your attention to the description. I have a link through the website, buy me a coffee if you want to support the channel. I also wanted to remind you to subscribe so you never miss an episode from Doodling Through Education. Without further ado, let's start doodling. The main purpose of the excretory system is to remove waste that the body doesn't need to use. This is an important system and when it is not functioning properly, bad things can happen within your body. The buildup of waste in your body can wreak havoc on it and cause multiple health issues and concerns. So this is a very important system in our body. The first part of the excretory system we are going to talk about is the lungs. The main thing that this organ is responsible for excreting is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is created in the cells due to something called cellular respiration, and it is the waste product of this. It is then transferred to the bloodstream, and then furthermore, it is transferred to the lungs through the bloodstream. At the lungs, the carbon dioxide is exchanged for oxygen and expelled out of the body when you breathe out. Water vapor is also expelled when you breathe out. It is picked up from the lungs and other organs of the respiratory tract, and as the exhaled air passes over their moist linings, the water vapor is excreted along with the carbon dioxide. Let's move on to the next part of the excretory system, and this is your skin. We talked about some functions of the skin in past videos, with sweating being one of those functions. But did you know that this makes your skin part of the excretory system as well? You sweat to cool your body down when you are overly hot, but the skin actually plays a major role in excreting extra water and salts as well as small amounts of urea through your sweat glands. Due to this, it is necessary that if you are sweating, you need to be sure to drink a lot of water and perhaps even take in some salt to replace what was lost and keep your body healthy. The next part of the excretory system we need to talk about is the urinary tract. The urinary tract is made up of several parts and it is what your body uses to excrete urine, which is extra fluid as well as waste. The urinary tract includes two kidneys, two ureters, a bladder, and a urethra. The primary function of the kidneys is the elimination of excess water and wastes from the bloodstream. This is done using structures called nephrons. The product that is created in this process is called urine. The urine then flows out of the kidney through the ureter into your bladder. The bladder then acts as a temporary storage for your urine. When your bladder gets full, you will feel the urge to pass out urine through a process called urination. Urine flows from the bladder into the urethra and out of the body. The last part of the excretory system that we need to talk about is the intestines. Again, we briefly talked about the small and large intestines in 
the video that we did last week, which was week six, when we talked about the digestive system. So remember how we said the small intestine breaks down and absorbs the nutrients you need into your bloodstream. The waste that remains is not needed in the body and passes through the small intestine to the large intestine. The large intestine's main function at this point then is to gather and eliminate the solid waste that remains after the digestion of food and the extraction of water from the food waste. Bile is then secreted into the gastrointestinal tract and contains the waste product bilirubin also from the liver. Bilirubin is a brown pigment which gives human feces that characteristic brown color. The last step in this process then is to excrete the waste from the large intestine out of your body. And that is all we have for today. As I always tell you, be sure to talk with your parents or your siblings or perhaps even your friends on community day if you are a CC student about your excretory system. Why is your excretory system important? Why did God give us an excretory system? And continue to research this topic so that you never stop learning. And remember to be kind, follow God's will, and take care. Bye.